and good morning again, friends of the French Foreign Legion. Good morning also to you, applicants of the French Foreign Legion, future applicants or future legionnaires. The French Foreign Legion is not especially waiting for you. I say this because a lot of applicants coming from far and distant countries like Nepal, Pakistan, Tibet, China, India, Sri Lanka, whatever. And so this problem, the distance coming from a foreign country far away is figures as a question, question number two on the priority list. I told you yesterday about this list. And I received a lot of emails stating, Sir, what can I do to join the French Foreign Legion? I'm coming from India. Or, Sir, can you help me to join the French Foreign Legion? I'm coming from Australia or South Africa. A couple of days before I received an email and there was a nice young gentleman asking, Sir, I want to hire in the French Foreign Legion, but I can not afford the ticket, the flight ticket from my country to Paris. Please, can you send me money? No, I cannot, I cannot send you money. I, I'm here to give advices. I'm here to share my knowledge, my information with you to make it easier for you to find your way to France. So, all the efforts have been made or must be made to join Europe, France. This is your job. Nobody else can make it for you. And if you're living in China, China is what? About 8,000 kilometers far from here and you need a flight ticket. Okay, automatically that means that you need a valid passport. And to have the money for the flight ticket and to have a valid passport or valid papers, this is only your job. The Legion cannot help you out with this. Also, the French Foreign Legion will not send you money or help you with visa details. No. To get a valid visa, it's up to you. Maybe you are able to afford a flight ticket coming from Pakistan, coming from India, coming from Sri Lanka, coming from the Philippines, from Manila. And you will end up in in the airport Charles de Gaulle in France, okay, but nobody will take you from the airport to the information and recruiting desk of the French Foreign Legion. This also, this is only your domain, it's your job. Nobody will pay you a taxi, nobody will send you a cheap and say, we are glad to be here, because the French Foreign Legion is in the lucky situation to choose their candidates very well. They are not waiting, and I repeat myself, they are not waiting especially for you. Right? So, you must set up, you must make a brainstorming. A couple of months before, when you want to join the French Foreign Legion, where can I get a valid passport? Who will gonna take, who will take care about paying my flight ticket. Where can I find the money going from airport Charles de Gaulle to maybe Aubagne, to Marseille, to Strasbourg or to Paris, uh, to the information recruit recruiting desk of the French Foreign Legion. All these things you have to consider and you have to find a solution by yourself. I repeat one more time, the French Foreign Legion is not a supermarket. And nobody will and can help you out with these problems. Right? When you are in France and you are not able to find the recruiting desk, just address to a gendarme, 
to a policeman. You can see them on their uniform, right? Blue uniform, blue, white, sometimes black. And you ask them gently, hey sir, I'm coming from and I want to go too. They will help you out to find your way. This is no problem, right? Uh, I mentioned China. China, 8,000 kilometers. When you are good, in good shape, and you will do maybe 50 kilometers per day, you can be in France in, what, 48 months? Okay, this is a joke. But you know what I mean, and I think you understood my message. Thank you for your patience, friends of the French Foreign Legion, and I welcome you to my next clip, and that will happen not later than tomorrow morning. Thanks, Amitié Légionnaire, Thomas Gasser.